¡Vacila los rumperos! My name is Jesus Biana Olguin. How old are you? 65. Um, what country are you originally from? From Colombia, South America. What languages can you speak? Mm, Spanish. Uh, English. A little Italian. <laughs> a little French. How long have you been in the United States? Uh, 20, 28 years old. 20, 28 years. Okay. And what's your occupation? Mine is in food server. Food server. In Tropicana, Casino. How well do you fit your social and professional wo world rate from 1 to 10? Uh, 7. Okay. Did you try to change your language or speech in order to fit in? Uh, no. Oh. Because um, I... I got my mind, I understand that I am foreign, I can hide my my nationality or my Spanish language. Uh, beyond fitting in, do you try to stand out? No, not really. Do you think you have an accent? Yes, I do. Describe your accent. Um, like... People get, I try to speak the, the same English, try to speak English with a good, with good accent and sounds, but but people can pick it up that I'm, I'm really, I'm, from, I'm foreign, and I speak foreign language, and I explain to them, yes, but I try to do my best to sa the sound of the words so people can understand what I'm saying. Okay. Does it bother you if someone asks you where you're from after first hearing you speak? No, really, because uh, I know my position, I know my uh, my standards, and I know I'm, I'm not from this country. Okay. I can't lie to them, so. <laughs> Do you feel like you're being judged after, because of your accent? No. Not really, because uh, um, when I came to this country, the, it, was, it, was, it was easy to me to fit because it wasn't too many. Too many. When when I came when I came to United States in Jersey City, it wasn't too many Spanish people, only more than a European. So we had no have nobody judge nobody. We have try to understand each other. Okay. Does your accent bother you in any way? No. No, it doesn't bother at all. I, I just try to improve uh, on a daily basis. That's why I watch TV, uh, listen to radio, and try to feed the culture of this country. Um, I, I love sports, uh, baseball, basketball, American football. So I try to feed in, in the American society. Do you feel like people don't understand you? Some they, they don't, but most of them, uh, let's say, to seventy-five percent of the people understand what I try to say. Um, is there anything you wish people knew about you before they heard your accent, or mm. or judge you because of your accent? No, no, I just uh, try to to interact with uh, with people. Yeah, I don't have to let them. I let them judge me. Do you think accents? are an issue in today's society? Yes, I believe that. Uh, I believe that because uh, um, a lot of people in this country doesn't understand that uh, that way. This country was made up of foreign people. The first people that came from England and all the other countries came over, Irish people, Jewish people, Spanish people now that the majority is getting, getting to but European was the first one, so they think they are American, but they are really, they forget they are foreign, they are foreign like me. Limpy is a fussy, 
yellow baby duck. He belongs to a fisherman. The fisherman lives in a little house by the bay. Every morning children go swimming in the bay. About ten, Limpy waddles out to the road to wait for the children. When he hears them coming, he begins he begins a loud, excited and quacking. The children always bring bread or corn for, for Limpy. He will nip at their fingers or peck at their bare toes until he is fed. Limpy never follows the children down to the shore. He likes to swim in his own little pond. It is most safe. Um, like people get, I try to speak the, the same English. <laughs> Limpy is a fussy yellow baby duck. He belongs <laughs> at their fingers or peck at their bare toes. <laughs> Limpy is a fussy, yellow, baby duck. He likes to swim in his own little pond. It is most savory.